In this video, we look at distributive laws for monads. A distributive law will allow us to combine the structure of two monads to produce a monad on the composite of the underlying endofunctors. If we are given monads T and S on E, we ask, when does the endofunctor ST have a monadic structure? We start with the definition. Given monads T and S as above, a natural transformation delta from TS to ST is a distributive law of T over S if and only if, for each E object X, the following diagrams commute, where the commutativity of the left-hand diagram is called the multiplicative law for delta, and the commutativity of the right-hand diagram is called the unit law for delta. We now show that a distributive law allows us to define a monadic structure on the composite endofunctor ST. Let delta be a distributive law of T over S as above. Then ST via delta is a monad on E, where the multiplication mu ST is given by the following composite, which has two equivalent expressions by the naturality of the multiplication mu S of the monad S. And the unit, eta ST, is given by the following composite, which also has two equivalent expressions by the naturality of the unit, eta S of the monad S. To prove that this gives us a monad, we need to verify the unit and multiplicative laws for a monad. First, we verify the unit law. In other words, the following two diagrams commute. Let's show that the top diagram commutes. By definition of the unit and multiplication for ST, we have the following composition, which we must show is equal to the identity on STX. We see that the right corner triangle is equal to ST eta T on TX by the above right-hand triangle of the unit law for delta. But since mu t eta t on tx is the identity on tx by the unit law for the monad t, we can reduce the diagram. But since mu s on st eta s on stx is the identity by the unit law for the monad s, we arrive at the identity of stx, which is what we wanted to show. To show that the bottom triangle commutes, we use the left triangle above in the unit law for delta, in the unit law for the monad s, in the unit law for the monad t, to give us the identity on STX. Therefore, the unit law for the monad ST via delta is satisfied. Next, we need to verify the associativity of the multiplication mu ST. In other words, the following diagram commutes. We unwind the definitions of the morphisms in the diagram to obtain the following square of composite morphisms. What we will do to show this commutes is to divide it into simpler commuting squares. We start by using the multiplication law for delta on the left above which shows that the bottom left square commutes. Similarly, by the multiplication law for delta on the right above, the top right square commutes. Next, we use the multiplication law for the monads t and s, which shows the adjacent squares commute. Then by naturality of the multiplication mu s, the bottom right square and the two leftmost squares in the middle row commute. Then we use the naturality of delta to show the remaining squares in the diagram commute. Then since each constituent square commutes, the entire diagram commutes, which implies that the multiplication law for ST via delta is satisfied. Therefore, we have ST via delta is a monad on E, and this completes the proof.